This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 10. Is there really only one mind? I only remind you of and reflect what is already deep within. It is not surprising that mind is whirring with the energy and the high vibrations of reality because enlightenment is close at hand. The living moment is being unveiled by the Holy Spirit. There is only one divine mind and the gateway to remembering divine mind is complete forgiveness. Complete forgiveness is identical to the realization that there is only one dreamer and this perspective is the atonement. From the one dreamer perspective There really are no enlightened folks running around the world because there is no world and no others to be enlightened. This idea I share many times. There is no such thing as an enlightened person for mind dissolves into mind. Personhood was nothing but a false concept a false construct. Enlightenment is a state of mind and the step to experiencing the only true state of mind is seeing the falsity of the belief in private thoughts and private minds, that is, human beings or persons. This is the dreamer of the dream perspective. And joined with Holy Spirit in this perspective is the correction or atonement to the error called ego, the belief in private minds. From the Holy Spirit's perspective of the single dreamer, the mind is no longer at the mercy of the images, for it sees them for what they are. Unreal efforts. You said it very accurately. Actually, the only thing that needs to happen is for the dreamer to awaken. That would even mean that there was no Jesus, but only a dream of a fellow like that. Also, there was no Hitler. There is no meaning in physical existence because it does not exist. This is what the first lesson in ACIM teaches and what every non-dualistic teaching aims at. The perspective of the Holy Spirit is the highest aim of learning for it is the complete unlearning of the belief that mind can be separated into minds, plural. It must first be realized that there is only one mind, one dreamer, one consciousness, before the mind awakens from the dream entirely and experiences itself as divine mind. Eternity, infinity, love. That is, the kingdom of heaven. You are zooming in rapidly, very rapidly, to the realization that the sole responsibility of the teacher of God is to accept the atonement for himself. 
The simplicity of salvation is seeing the one error as it is. That is, one dreamer. This is what the dreamer of the dream sections of ACIM point to very directly. You are zooming in on the homing beacon. The light at the end of the tunnel is very close at hand. You wondered if God is waiting for his son to awaken. God is completeness and wholeness and eternal perfection. God knows not of time. And therefore, the concept of waiting does not pertain to eternal oneness. Only the ego seems to wait and in time terminology, its days are numbered, so to speak. The forgiveness of the belief in linear time is the end of the illusion. Jesus says, Why wait for heaven? Heaven is in you. And you are home. One instant. The holy instant. I love you forever and ever, beloved one.